Hey everyone, in this one I'm making a sci-fi cargo ship and the diorama to go with it. So I'm taking inspiration from the modern carryall helicopters and the modern ship containers. I'll start with making a hexagonal shape box for the container and then build the ship around it. In order to help keep the hexagonal shape, I used masking tape to attach two ends together. With the leftover cardboard stripes and pieces, I'm making extra details on the sides and cut two hexagonal pieces from the same cardboard sheet to close the ends. With the leftover cardboard stripes and pieces, I'm making extra details on the sides. I tried folding some thick paper into a corrugated shape but failed. Instead, cut off stripes from the cardboard to imitate such an effect. Gluing some random beads to represent some sort of a door handle or locks if you will. Adding rivet details with rhinestones from my beads box. Now that the container itself is ready, I can start building the ship itself. For the ship, I picked these plastic items to start. I'm first building the nose section of the ship. I'm using an old water pump headpiece, a spray bottle cap, some random circular plastic cap, a detergent cap and plastic piece holding CA glue and its activator. Using an extra detergent cap and a spray bottle cap, I'm starting to build a rocket to sit on top of the ship. I don't have an exact shape for the ship. As usual, I'm going with the flow. Whenever I see an interesting part from the bin, I add it on. I tried using this fork to be a gloom base for the top structure to sit on and I didn't like it. Then I came across to this cable shielding and decided to use it instead. Once the top side is glued and ready, I'm gluing the container piece on the ship, using another detergent cap to add on the rocket side of the build. Like I said, whenever I find an interesting piece, I use it. This makes me stay away from a planned build, feels more like slapping one random plastic piece on top of another. These soap bottle pieces and pump heads will add extra detail on the sides of the ship. They could be stabilizers, maybe. And for the landing gear, I'm using a pair of milk lids for each leg and pieces of straws to represent hydraulic parts. I like the um, serrated details of the um, water bottle caps. So I'm using four of them and a random cylindrical plastic piece and a roll on the other end cap to complete the main body of the rocket. In order to buff up the rocket to its sides, I'm building extra boosters from plastic tubes, cap parts I collect from juice boxes and so on. To make an entry point to the ship, I'm cutting a rectangle from the bottom of the nose section and made a hatch ladder-like door for it. Added hydraulic details for the ladder from Q-tip sticks and toothpick. The space between landing gears felt like it should be filled with something. So I found this electrical box among other plastic and glued it under the body. I cut off the corrugated parts of the straws to add extra detail on the rocket part. I'm using sprues from model kits to represent some sort of a random set of bars on all over the ship. Just like how I did on the container piece, I'm using various sizes of beads and rhinestones to create rivet details. Now that I'm done with the building, it's time to paint it. 
I'm first covering the entire thing with regular cheap craft paint. Although I have to admit it would result much better to paint the whole thing with proper primer paint or regular spray paint from a can. Cheap craft paints clog details if you don't water them down or just doesn't stick all that well when you do. Once done, I'm starting to paint the container first. I'll try these pastels to paint it. I basically turned them into dust and then mixed them with water. So I basically made an acrylic solution I suppose. The idea is to have somewhat translucent coverage, showing some black underneath. For the ship's color, I picked up Vallejo's black red. For the rocket part, I wanted it to look like it can be and was replaced a while ago and kept its color different from the rest of the ship. From section to section, painted the entire thing with different tones of grey. Painted the middle and the pipes with bronze color to differentiate the look of these parts. Painted the rivets with anthracite grey. Painted and dry brushed various parts with steel tones. I wanted to touch on the container part again. I applied black wash and then red wash to help the container part look more saturated with the rest of the ship. Before I was done, I applied some Vallejo black wash on the rivets. And finally, I applied burnt tumbler weathering powder at the end of the rockets to imitate these things being used for a while. Sprayed some rubbing alcohol to help the powder set. For this build, I bought Italy's 72nd scale NATO pilots and ground crew figure set. I gotta say, the quality of these figures are way beyond my expectations. After the recent mini art disaster, this was a welcome change. I picked 5 different figures from the lot with various postures fitting the diorama. I covered them with Vallejo black primer first, then applied flesh tones and randomly painted their clothing and equipment. Since I imagined these to be civilians, I didn't pay attention to real-life aviation personnel or original colors depicted on the box. Once I'm done with the painting, I apply flash and black washes to bring up details. Now that the ship is ready and the figures are painted, it's time to work on some detail objects. So I made some random objects to fit the scene I had in my mind. Such as this scaffolding piece I made from steering sticks, which I imagined used by the crew to reach higher parts of the ship and do whatever repair they do. Made a random ladder, two shipping pallets, a wooden crate, Turned the Kinder Egg with a couple of other items into some sort of a compressor or fuel tank. And I picked up some random pieces to be turned into spare parts laying around. As usual I painted everything in black. Painted the top floor of the scaffolding with Vallejo's wood grain. I wanted some wooden look on it and the rest being metallic. Painted the rivets with steel color to show some paint chipping on them and add overall color difference. Painted the palettes and wooden crate with brown wash. I wanted to keep their colors a bit more subtle. I painted the Kinder Egg into green and added bronze details here and there.
Once all were painted and ready, I glued them randomly on the crates. So for the diorama base, I cut a plywood board and foam core, 20 by 42 centimeters. Mixed a very dark grey, close to asphalt color and painted it. I wanted to add a detail on the ground, meanwhile keeping everything that'll be on here somewhat tidy and clean, so I printed this stencil. Applying light grey paint by dabbing a piece of a sponge to get a spray paint dish effect on it. It's always a risk to fail doing this, but it came off nice and clean. Once that's out of the way, it's now time to put everything together and complete this project. Thanks a lot for watching this video, it took a good amount of time and effort to put all this together. So if you enjoyed it, give this video a like and subscribe for future videos. And I'll see you next time.